Hi, it's Phyllis, and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be this beautiful obsidian stretch bracelet, and it is uh, made with these gorgeous, gorgeous obsidian beads and some beaded beads that I'm going to teach you how to do together using the Base 5 Prismatic Right Angle Weave Pra. So, if you like what you see, stay tuned for the materials list and we'll get the project made together. The materials for today's project are some 8 millimeter obsidian beads. And these are the black jet color. I'm going to have some 8 o seed beads. These are Mayuki and they are the Duracoat Galvanized Gold. I'm using some size 15 o seed beads and these are Toho in the black. Um, for tools, I'm using my 8 pound Nano Fill. You can use 6 pound fire line, 8 pound fire line, 10 pound fire line, but um, I'm using this Nano Fill. Uh, it was convenient for me to grab. I'm going to use some 0.7 millimeter stretch magic. And this is the clear color. I need a um, a measuring tape or a ruler, but the measuring tape is going to work. I'm using my nippers. I'm using a beading needle. It doesn't matter the size, um, but I'm using a beading needle and my double X large um, bead mat station here. Um, did I say I'm using nippers? I'm using nippers. And that is it for materials. Um, if you, uh, I'm gonna use um, just a, a tiny piece of thread, maybe um, 20 inches of thread to make each of the beaded beads. And um, I'm gonna get my beads together, take them out of their packages, and um, we'll be ready to begin. To make our beaded bead, we are gonna use um, I have, first off, I've threaded my needle with about 30 inches of my fire line. And I'm going to string on five of my 80 seed beads. And I'm going to pull them down and I'm going to tie them, tie a knot. And I'm going to leave uh, enough so that your hands and, or fingers can um when we meet up with this tail thread again that we can tie a knot tie the, the working thread and the tail thread together and with that i'm going to pass my needle all the way around these beads for some stability I'm going to go past the tail into the first one past that tail. Okay, now we're going to do our regular right angle weave things. We are going to make five walls. So that's why we have the base here of five. So we're going to make five walls and each wall is going to have four points. So I already have my four, first point here and I'm going to string on three of my seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle back into that seed bead where I'm, I'm coming out I'm exiting and I'm going to reinforce this connection I'm going to go into these two seed beads here and back into the two I mean I'm sorry <laughs> and then to these two and then I'm going to advance my needle forward. And my forward is going to my left. So I'm going to pass my needle into this seed bead here. And I'm going to now string on. All right, so now I have this wall done. This is my first wall.
So I advanced my needle here. I had an interruption, I'm very sorry. And now we're going to make our next wall. So our first wall is here and now we need to make four more walls. And when I advance, when I say I advance my needle, I advance my needle into the next base seed bead of the five that we made. So I'm, I'm working on the wall that's gonna go here on this side now. And I, I already have two, two beads on, I need to string two more. So st string these two seed beads and pass my needle into these two seed beads here that we have. And I'm going to reinforce them pass by passing my needle here into these two and back into these two and now I'm going to advance my needle forward again and for me so alright so we have these two walls when we pull them together they will sit up but I'm going to advance my needle into my third bead here and I'm going to string on two seed beads and pass my needle into these two seed beads here. Pull my thread and reinforce that by going back into these two and into these two. And then I'm going to move my needle, advance my needle forward into the fourth bead on the base here so I'm gonna, right we're going to be right here if we were doing a cubic right angle weave this is a familiar setup except for a familiar formation I mean except that now we have an extra bead here so right now we're moving into our fourth bead and we're going to do that I mean make the next wall our fourth wall by stringing on these two seed beads and passing my needle into these two here. And reinforcing. And going into these two. And now we have to do the final wall. So we have our fifth base bead here. This is the one that we need to go into, but we already have three sides of this base. So, and the three sides are here, here, and here. So I know it doesn't look like it because I have it laying flat, but in order for us to make the proper uh, wall what we have to how we're going to position ourselves is to go into the this seed bead I would be advancing to into the seed bead anyway but then I have to go into an extra one and that would be this one here so I'm gonna pull my thread and because I we have the three already one two three remember we need four points on a wall so we're gonna string on one seed bead and my working thread is exiting the top of this seed bead and I need to come into this one and I need to go into from the top to the bottom. I know it doesn't look like that, but when I pull the thread, you're gonna see how this is going to set up. It's gonna pull right there and you can see now that I have the wall. I'm going to reinforce this entire wall here by continuing to advance my needle into this bead, this bead, this bead. That's the one that we added on. And back again into the three where we were if I can I'm gonna and and this is just to, to keep from pulling the thread so many times but I'm gonna use my thumb 
and my forefinger and I'm just going to push these in so that they will form into their ball and if I hold it if I turn it this way you'll see that all of the beads now the five beads that I need to connect are are their holes orientation are horizontal so right now I'm coming out of a seed bead where the whole orientation is vertical not just because I'm pulling it that way but because right angle weave is amazing in itself and it will set your beads up for you so right here you can see on this side I've got four beads here one two three four I'm sorry I don't know what kind of counting that is I meant to do one two three four the ones on the side have the vertical hole orientation and the ones that are in the front have the horizontal hole orientation. We need to use the ones that are sitting up. So if I sit my work up this way, if I hold it so that it looks like a cup, we are looking at five seed beads that have this vertical hole orientation and they are on the top. So I will pass my needle into all five of these seed beads and end up into this one so the one I'm currently going in so this is the first and not to be confusing but it's the sixth bead so this is the first one I'm passing into and I'm gonna pass into this one two three and four and five but they aren't connected yet because I have to go back into that first seed bead again. Because remember, when I, I went into it, I was coming out of this seed bead right here with the vertical. So I have to pass back through it again in order to tighten it up. And again, with the, the, the thumb and the forefinger, pull your threads together. From here now, I'm going to go around now and and tighten up this connection just by uh, reinforcing it and tighten that back up make sure I go through all of the beads I'm gonna try not to drop it because I don't want to confuse anyone what we're doing is we're trying to make a bead that is about eight millimeters around so that it will um, be the size that we need it to be. So here I'm going to now fill in by stringing on a 15 -0. I'm going into from 180 to the next 15 -0, to the next 8-0 and I'm gonna put a 15 -0 in between. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. And I'm going to reinforce this whole top area by passing back through all of these seed beads. And then once I finish going all the way around, I'm going to work my way back down to the bottom or the top, however you want to say it. We're going to work our way back down and meet up. I mean, and add on these 15 OC beads. So I've finished reinforcing. And what how you want to get work your way back down is you have to be coming out of an 80 seed bead. Right now I'm coming out of a 15 -0. And you have to be coming out of an 80. And I'm just gonna to get into this 80 here. And I'm going to 
turn the work to face me this way. And my, so you can see that my thread is exiting out of this 8 but what I'm gonna do is, in my right angle weave fashion, let's pass my needle down this way and pass my needle through this bead. And now we're on the other side. And what we're gonna do is get down here and pass a 15 0 in between each of these 8 0s. This is a simple matter. You pass your 8 15 0 through the 8 0s and um, reinforce actually actually what we're, I'm going to back out of that what I should oh sorry what I should have done when I came out of the top I should have I want to run my um, I want to run my thread uh, the other way. What I mean by that is I'm coming out. All right. When I came out of my my top here, I came out here of this this 80C bead. I came out here and I came down here. What I want to do is go into this 80 going in that direction and the reason I need I want to do that is because that's where I'm going to how I'm going to meet up with my my tail thread so because it's coming in this direction so I'm going to get it out of the way but right here now we're going to string we st I strung on a 15 0 and I'm going through the 8 0 this way. Another 15 0. I'm going through the 8 0. If I can get my tail out of the way, but you know what? All right. <laughs> there we go. Best way to get your tail thread out of the way is to chase it with, with your working thread. All right. Now continue to add your 15 O's And then just continue to advance your needle and go through all of these beads again all the way around and just keep going all the way around until you meet up with this tail thread again and we're going to tie that tie the two threads together and that will and then find some place to cut off so we're just going to keep going through. I'm just going to hang out with you and do it. Now, when making this beaded bead, this is a beautiful beaded bead. You can make these and just string your stretch, stretch cord through them to make a bracelet. But I'm not going to do that. I can, and you also can, but I want to combine my work with that beautiful, beautiful obsidian um, bead. They are just, they have a deep elegance to them. They're not just black or whatever color they are. They've got like a deep shine. And the only thing I'm doing here is talking and tying a knot. I'm <laughs> just tying a knot. They have that, the, I'm talking about obsidians also, they have that beautiful deep elegance. I tell you, I just, it's almost hard for me to describe, but they are absolutely beautiful. So now I've got my, my knot tied here, and I'm just going to advance through a couple more of these beads and so that I can pull the knot into the beads. And uh, when I'm comfortable, I just get my nippers, <clears throat> excuse me, get my nippers and stretch that thread. 
and cut it off. And again, you can make as many of these beaded beads, but I want them to be as close to this, my eight millimeter obsidian size as possible. So that's why I have that. I don't know if you can see this cup. These beads are just magnificent. I love them. Ah, I hope you can get some of them. But a size 80 was really is what we're using. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause now and I'm gonna come back with to you and we're just gonna have our stretch wire and string on some of these. So the reason we're using our measuring tape now is because we want to make sure that if you know the the length of the bracelet that you need um you want to have maybe three or four inches more than that so this particular bracelet i'm making for a man and um my husband has a seven and a half inch wrist he's kind of kind of a skinny wrist <laughs> but um he's got a seven and a half inch wrist so i don't want to um but even though this bracelet isn't for him i would make a bracelet for a man starting at about eight inches so let's just say i'm making um let's just say that i'm making the, the bracelet for my my um for just a regular guy and i'll make an eight inch bracelet but then you i would cut off 11 or 12 inches of my um stretch cord and once I cut that stretch cord off then you make sure that you get to stretching it you know remember how we talked about conditioning your stretch cord so I'm going to cut off here I got a, about 11 and a quarter inches that I'm going to use and nip that off and get these things out of the way and just give this thing a nice stretch because Again, you want it to be stretched out for maximum performance, you know. Um, you, you stretch it all the way out now, and you don't have to worry about it doing that. And again, um, you know, too quickly when you're wearing it. But again, remember, if you're selling these or giving them as a gift, make sure that you let the person know that they should really respect the stretch wire and, and try not to get it wet you know, not intentionally take showers or anything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, I'm going to um, get some of my, my obsidians together and I've got a couple of these, um, these components. I made, I have four of them and, you know, I kind of, I wanted to kind of fashion it by this type of bracelet. This type of bracelet has like a specific name. So I, but and I don't want to say that name, but what I have is my centerpiece as what it is I'm going to do. And then I have this, this is just a glass bead that I bought. And then I made myself a little beaded bead. And then I did all of these and, and that's that certain type of pattern for that other type of bracelet that I was making. The one that I can't say has a dragon in the center. So we're kind of making that kind of bracelet, but not really so i'm going to use my four beaded beads and i'm going to string these on um but i'm going to and I'm, this is what i'm going to do i'm going to start with the the center so i'm not using dragons i'm using beaded beads and i'm just going to go through here and I'm gonna string these two. I'm not gonna put any seed beads in between or anything. I'm just gonna put these two. And then I'm gonna to, to, to go, before I start stringing my length, what I'm gonna do is on either side of these beaded beads, I'm gonna put an obsidian. I'm just in love with these. I think you all can tell that. And then I'm going to put another one of these beads, beaded beads here. Then I'm going to now string my length on the other side. Because when I tie my knot, I'm going to pull the knot into that beaded bead. So on this side, I'm going to place an obsidian. And 
And if you're interested, I got these obsidian beads from Stonehub Design on uh, Etsy. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna string the, my length with all of the obsidian beads. I mean the rest of the length, with just the obsidian beads. And when I finish getting my length, I will meet up back with you and tie off together. As you can see, I have my eight inches of beads strung on. And now we're gonna tie our two ends together. And when we're working with stretch wire, stretch cord, this is how we do. We're gonna we're going in and we're going to go around just to make a knot, but we're gonna go around twice and pull. And then we'll do that again. Once we make form our loop, we'll go through that loop twice and give it a nice tight, tight pull. Pull it so you can feel it in there. And again, same thing, you go in again and, and pull down, give it a tight, tight pull. And you make sure you because I mean when you're pulling on this you can feel it you can feel it going in there and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pull the thread a little bit and pop the uh, the knot inside that beaded bead actually I'm gonna cut it off first and cut that right off pop the knot inside that beaded bead and there you have it your unmentionable bracelet this is what we're calling stretch bracelet, obsidian stretch bracelet with our beautiful beaded beads in the fashion of this bracelet here. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I hope you like the project and see you next time.